Lady Meow. Lady Meow. No, it's cat nap time. Shut up. Subscribe, please. Let's have a look, sees. Hi there, proxies. Welcome to the Zenla Sonzila special program. Great to see you all again. I'm the intelligence broker <gasps> with the hottest gossip on the scene, true. Mr. Z. And next to me is... <laughs> Hello, Lady Meow. We're live now. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. Okay. In today's live stream, I'll be teaming up with Lady Meow to bring you all the latest I'm updates. I'm Lady Meow. <laughs> We truly appreciate your support. Why so serious, Mr. Z? You're not nervous because this story is about Section 6 this time, are Section 6, you? baby! Not Let's at go! all. Section 6 is an elite team specifically I'm actually very excited about Section 6. I don't know to if I'm going to be pulling for Yanaki. Eridu, they're like uh, this live stream might decide for me whether there or not I'm going to be pulling for Yanaki or not. Although the dream marketing might have person, some effect on that. Section six might change my mind. Definitely a group to look up to. I heard they've even got quite the fan base. Oh, fan base. Mm -hmm. As the best intel broker in New Eridu, I've infiltrated the Section <gasps> 6 fan club and got an inside scoop about the team. All right, tell me, tell me, Next, tell me. I'll be introducing them to you all. But before we get to Section 6, we have to first introduce Hand. The Hollow Affairs and Neutralization Department. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. one of the top governing agencies in New Eridu. Indubitably. Oh, the bureaucracy. Ooh, mm -hmm. new map. Let's not put it that way. Although there are a high level organization involved in Zahando! <laughs> matters related to hollow disasters. All right. As a specialized agency, Hand needs its own armed forces, which is why they established hollow special operations. And Section 6 is the sixth unit of HSO. That's right. Section 6 has built quite the reputation since ah, its so establishment cool. and Our gained girl. a lot of respect among the public. Though, under normal circumstances, few get the chance to interact with them. But yeah. if you ever get caught up in a hollow disaster or some hollow related crime, you might just meet this elite team. All right, good shit. Yep. If you do run into them, consider it both a blessing and a curse. Oh, what, what do, you do you mean? Well, it's a Why blessing curse? in the sense that Section Six is undeniable. Ah, uh, look at Mia B. Look at her. And will definitely rescue uh, you. But it's also a curse. Look at the fan. Oh my God, I love the biggest fan boy. <laughs> Just a massive honk. This girl is so cute. Look at her. Since the team members are all pretty eccentric, so you still better hope for the best. Well, you aren't wrong so about that, Lady Meow, but don't that worry, is you for everyone. Real? I see. There is one normal person among them that you can rely on. You mean Miss Yanagi, right? That's right. And the normal person is a big word. Also revolves around Miss Yanagi. Everyone knows now that HSO Section 6 is part of Han's Armed Forces. Santo. And that I do like Yanagi. I'm thinking about pulling for her. Bodies. I'm not sure yet. The founder and team Okay, so the thing is that Yana, uh, Yanagi, um, I might want to go for her because, you know, I, I'm playing around dots and stuff like that. So I could go for a dual, dual anomaly composition so I can do some disorder stuff with like her. I don't have Bernie, so like her and Jane, right? Now, the, the thing is that I really want Miyabi when she comes out. I'm not sure I'll be able to get both. So I'm waiting for Leader, the marketing. Hoshini we'll see. Miyabi is particularly exceptional. Yeah, I really like her. What is Miss Yanagi's guidance that transforms the raw power of Section 6's field agents into an effective asset in battle? Hell yeah, baby. Sounds like Miss Yanagi is the brains behind the team. <laughs> you could put it that way, but if you want to know more, let's play the VCR. Yeah! All right, trailer, exciting shit. Uh oh, what's wrong, Deputy Chief? It's probably just my imagination, but I feel like something is about to happen. I love her shoes. Hollow Special Operations Section Six, Heroes of New Eridu. I'm afraid no one in this world needs your salvation. That logo, it's... Here, I can fail countless times, but you can afford a single mistake! Her 
hurting people like this. The special monster we're looking for must be you. Ah! She's so cool. That weapon is awesome, dude. A Nani Gata is so fun. Oh, it's expand ex expandable. Not expandable. It extends. Like, like when she takes it out of her scabbard, it looks like a normal katana. And here she takes it out. But here, it looks like she... She makes it longer. Am I crazy? Yeah, it extends. I think it does. Maybe I'm crazy. It's a bit loud, sorry. Man, she looks so good. I, Lighter, of the Sons of Caledon. Oh, our man. I'm here to issue a challenge to all of you. That's a big punch. Deal with you. Looks like a big area. Fists are more than enough. You've got a plan to take them down, right? And you're going down with me! Man, she's so cool. Wow, that was. And yeah, look at that. Here you see there's like actually two handles. So I think the first one is here, and then she can extend the the staff here to actually transform it into an anigata. So I, I do think because you can see that scabbard is way smaller than the weapon itself. So I think it starts here. And then you could see her extended during the fight, which is really awesome. That's such a cool weapon, dude. Oh my god. Oh, look, look, wait! Look at the... Look at the little... Uh, uh, bamboo! Is that gonna be the new bamboo of Section 6? So cute! I've been waiting for a bamboo with cat ears. I would be it's extremely excited if that was the case. Were Miss Yanagi and Miss Miyabi fighting? I wonder what happened. You can ask her yourself. Hi, Sana. Hey, Hi, Kosan. Why are you always revealing information ahead of me? Where did you even source that from? Come on, Mr. Z. I'm an Intel broker, too, you know. I managed to get some audio files of Miss Yanagi. Wanna listen? <laughs> what? Hello, I'm Sukashiro Yanagi, Deputy Chief and Intelligence Officer right, of Section 6. Is this from a public recording? Hello, Chief Sukishiro Yanagi. Sorry, I'm the Deputy Chief. The chief of Section 6 is Hoshini Miyabi. Please be careful not to confuse our positions. How are you having a conversation with the recording? Mm, thank you for the clarification, Miss Yanagi. <laughs> I heard Section 6 was single-handedly established by Miss Miyabi. Yeah, yeah. And that it's an elite team that holds a rather special position even within... What heaven. kind of special position? Is there some deeper story behind it? Hmm? Chief Miyabi played a key role in establishing Section 6. But it was also a decision carefully made by hand okay. and the city administration and Lord drop. of the state of the Lord. city the hollows we share the same mission as our other colleagues at hand to deal with hollow disasters okay residents of new eridu can also log into the city's official website for public information on all divisions of hand. oh shit. okay cool oh, stuff my. quite the official answer you sure don't let anything slip through huh well I heard that the members of Section 6 are all rather eccentric. How do you coordinate them, Miss Yanagi? Are they eccentric? Section 6 operates smoothly under our chief's leadership. I simply assist her by handling minor tasks when So needed. far, they seem fine. Our team is equipped Maybe to deal with seem any very serious. Sokaku is very hyper. Doing, so there's no need for too much supervision. Of course, if anyone's skipping shifts or slacking off, then it's my duty to discipline them. All right. Is it just my imagination, or did the room just get colder? I don't know. <laughs> Must be your imagination. But I can tell this family would fall apart without you. All right, let's talk about Section 6's latest operation now. Can you tell us about what you encountered during this incident? We were invited by the HIA to test some new technology, which included trying out new equipment and recording okay. raw data. The specifics are confidential. Ah. Ooh, I can sense something big must have happened here. Could it Virtual be revenge. To okay. Ah, the curiosity is killing me. Looks like we'll have to find out the truth ourselves 
when we get to experience the damn she looks so cool here I need to catch up on a lot of the special episodes. There's a lot of them I haven't done yet. I really need to. It's like, it's the cassette. It's the um, uh, VHD, VHS, VHS you receive. New special episode. I'm, I'm super anyway, behind all of them. Thank you for sharing, Miss Yanagi. I can't believe I didn't know about this intel. I have failed as an intel broker. Don't be sad, You're fired. Lizzie. There's still more to the story in the outer ring, right? We're counting on you to fill us in about that. Really? Am I still qualified to do this? Oh my god. Go ahead. Then let's shift our focus back to the outer ring for now. Pug. Although the Tority Inferno has concluded, the story of a certain champion remains untold. Oh yeah, lighter. After the Tority Inferno, I'm sure all you proxies are more familiar with lighter now. Indubitably. And as the champion of the Sons of Caladon, he doesn't concern himself with the names of those he's defeated. Wow. Sporting his leather jacket, accented with a bright red scarf, I'd say he's the coolest guy in my book. But Debatable. The question is, why would someone so independent like him join a biker gang? Well, although Lighter might seem like quite the lone wolf, he actually cherishes every member <laughs> of the reason behind his decision to join them. <laughs> a reason? In that case, should we ask Lighter himself? Don't tell me you have a recording of him too. Hello, Mr. Lighter. Hello. Why did you join the Sons of Caledon? Wait, are you really just gonna ask like that? If there's a hidden reason, he wouldn't just tell us. I owed Big Daddy a favor. That's huh? his English voice? I see. As a Damn, I never expected lighter, that. Straightforward and honest. Thanks. Thanks. Speaking of oh, things, big the daddy of over and a new overlord has been crowned. But I heard there's something called settlement days in the outer ring. Uh, I've heard of it too. By tradition, within three days of a new overlord taking charge, Anyone with past grievances can challenge oh, shit, the new that's cool. to settle scores. Okay. This is also a chance for the that sounds like a big event. Personal grudges. In I'm... the past, these challenges were certainly far more brutal. But in recent times, settlement days is more like a festival. And okay. It's become rare to see anyone actually trying to make trouble for the Overlord. Do you think anyone would challenge you, Mr. Lighter? Certainly seems so. See you around. Okay. Well. And there he goes. That didn't take long. And he doesn't seem nervous at all. Right. It doesn't seem like the Sons of Caledon are taking Settlement Day is very serious. Maybe they should. But like Lighter just said, things have calmed down a bit in the past few years. All right. In Lighter's agent story, you'll receive an Damn. invitation from the That's Sons some big of abs. Caledon to participate in this and big pecs and big nips. That's a lot As of big stuff. Days began, everyone in the sons of <laughs> hey, Shalana, what's up? How are you doing around. today? Meanwhile, Lighter readily accepts challenges and steps into the arena. However, as Not he the continues arena. to win battle after battle, the situation starts to take an unexpected turn. And this is where you leave everyone hanging? Hey, Lighter's back. I mean, that's the, that's much, a VHS version of him, right? Like, all the characters look very different in that. So, we don't know if it's true. It might be a romanticized version. Not to worry. It won't take long before you proxies can get that crucial intel from Pearl. Ah, finally! And Section 6's elites will, through an unexpected turn of events, end up becoming involved with the Vision case. Okay, good stuff! This is just the start of Bell and Wise's story with the members of Section 6. So please stay tuned for future installments of the main story. Yay! There'll still be some time before the continuation of that story. Also, we're not so getting in next patch. Let's return to version 1.3 and get to introducing our agents. Okay, so we get a story huh? around we're moving on already. This. All right. So we're getting a story around um section six, but we're not getting a continuation of Pearlman's story. So we're not getting a continuation of like the quote-unquote main story. But we are getting a whole story around them. So we're still getting a chapter. And now we get to see what she actually does. I'm so excited for this. Hishiro Yanagi. As you can see, I'm the one giving the info this time. Yeah, okay. Sukishiro Yanagi, a member of Section 6 and Yata! an S-rank anomaly agent with Woohoo! electrifying attacks. Seriously, doesn't anyone care that I'm the one who got this info? Nobody cares. 
a Naginata that matches her slender frame. In Naginata combat, she uses a combination of styles to take down enemies. Her special attack lets her attack enemies while changing her stance. Yanagi's available moves will change depending on her stance, and she'll also get okay. different buffs. These buffs remain in effect for some time after the Oh, Nagi's interesting. Okay. Simply put, as long as you keep a good rhythm of switching her stances, Yanagi can continuously receive the buffs from both stances. Sounds great. Also, after Yanagi switches her stance, every time she deals damage with a basic attack, her anomaly buildup increases. When she unleashes her E. Wait, 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 wait. Yanagi switches stances. Simply put, as long as you keep buffs from both stances. Also, after Yanagi switches. Additional ability triggers when another character in your squad is an anomaly character or shares the same attribute. Hell yeah. So now I can actually... This is confirmation that she she can fit perfectly in a team with like... Um, I could do a team with like um, Jane, her and Seth. And we get all of the special abilities, for example. Right? Just her stance. Every time she deals damage with a basic attack... Her anomaly buildup increases. Monfield and Bernice. She unleashes her yeah, DS definitely. Attack, I think she, like, it does feel like her and Bernice and, like, Caesar, for example, for example, could be a very strong team. Because um, then you have some stun, you have the massive attack buff from Caesar, you have the shield, right? And then she can buff the anomaly from the team and be the one on field, and Bernice can be the quick swap in to apply her... Uh, heat, uh, super burn ability, then be off field, and you can stay on field with her. But I'm gonna figure out a way to play Yanagi and uh, Jane together. Unless, 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 I decide to skip for Miyabi. Who knows? And switches her stance. She charges up and rushes in with a forward step, followed by a powerful downward attack, dealing electric damage. If the target Man, is she's under cool. an anomaly. Uh, polite is when trigger deals a certain percentage of original disorder effect damage to the target plus additional damage equal to a certain percentage of Yanagi's anomaly proficiency without removing the target's anomaly. Oh. Okay. Yanagi will trigger a special disorder effect without removing the target's anomaly while giving herself a buff. Now, let's see this in action. Interesting. In combat, you can switch Yanagi in to unleash her EX special attack after her teammate triggers an anomaly, dealing extra damage while applying debuffs. In such cases, Wait. in combat, you can switch Yanagi in to unleash her EX special attack after her teammate triggers an anomaly, dealing extra damage while applying debuffs. Damn. In such cases, Yanagi deals massive electric damage while switching from stance to stance to maintain her buffs. There is none of the usual gentleness that Yanagi seems to exude when activating her ultimate, only intense focus as she lets loose oh, a she's flurry so cool, of deadly dude. slashes. Trust me, you don't that ult animation was so peak. Also, is it 1.3 that we're getting... They, they announced that we'll be getting a, a separate ultimate bar uh, for every single character. Um, they said that during the 1.2 livestream. Or like one of the dev talk, I don't remember. But I don't remember if that's going to be 1.3 or 1.4. Agreed. But in her day-to-day -day life, Yanagi is still a gentle person. I have to she look that up. She only becomes that serious when things get real. Oh? Got more details to share? <clears throat> I can't give away everything just yet. Now let's shift our focus to Lighter. Here comes Did Lighter coming? Fair and enough. Okay. Fire and Stun Agent. If but hopefully you sooner our than last later. Special program, you probably still remember this cool dude. Uh -uh. Indeed, he's a proud member of the Sons of All right, let's see. No doubt. The the cool that power creep. Gauntlets and that red scarf. He certainly stands out in a crowd. I prefer Coleda. I don't care. Told, Do with it. Do not one to hot the spotlight. And of course, he uses his fists in combat. Eh. Lighter faces his enemies head on in close range combat. What was it say here? When Lighter is in moral burst state, hitting an enemy with the fifth hit of his basic attack will continuously continue moral and increase his impact. Moral will be automatically restored over time. So that has to be the special bar top left here. Okay. 
And when his morale is high enough, the oh, morale, sorry, not moral. Basic attack morale. Sends him into an enhanced state. In this state, he consumes morale and increases his impact to quickly stun his foes. His attacks Damn. also reduce the target's fire and ice resistance and makes them fire and longer. ice resistance. The target's fire and ice. Man, and here we thought it would only be a Kulida power creep. <laughs> He's also a Lycon power creep. <laughs> For no reason. Resistance All right. makes them stunned longer. <laughs> also, when Lighter fights alongside teammates with the attack specialty or his sons of talent. Just attack? Oh, uh, he's gonna fit with any character and any team. That's crazy. Just attack specialty or sons of Calidon. Uh the only part is gonna be tough is if you wanna play him like on a anomaly team without like Bernie's, for example. That's the only part when he's gonna be a bit rough to place in a team. Uh but like just use another character in that case, right? It is yeah, there's three characters that work. Um, but that means, like, you can play him easily with, um, that, that means you can easily go, um, Ellen, Sokaku, and him, for example, right? And he's gonna be able to stun very fast, reduce enemies' resistance to ice, that's gonna be so good, holy crap. Done, friends. He it would be a good replacement for MB in the Juyan team? Yeah, that would work too. Um, but Juyan is not fire or ice, absolutely. What you gotta keep in mind is that... The the reduction, while it's very good, I assume it's still gonna be good regardless, right? Like, he's, at the end of the day, he's still a 5-star um, stunner. So in terms of raw base stat, he's gonna be stronger than MB on paper. Uh, but that doesn't mean, like... I, I think in those cases, it really depends how strong your MB is. If you have, like, MB C6, for example. I have MB C6, but so I don't necessarily need to replace her in the teams I'm using her. Uh, but you might be able to easily replace her if you feel like um, she's not pulling in as much um, like impact as you would want to, right? You're he just not going to benefit from the, the debuff. Enemies. That said, I don't really care about him. <gasps> oh, you could even just go like on Ellen and him, double stun, and have the double ice shred. During combat, Lighter recovers morale as his teammates face off against the opponents. Once Lighter is ready to roll, you can use a quick assist. I wonder how to well it stacks together. He can hammer enemies with a continuous flurry of punches while nimbly dodging attacks. This helps him stun enemies quicker, setting up his team for some serious DPS. And when it's time for his ultimate, Lighter no, blue character. the ground with a I don't know, it kind of depends, because at the end of the day, Sokaku's buff is so strong, though. With his fiery fists and powerful fighting So, style, I don't know. Lighter sure is a hot one. Uh, right. Got it. That's all. Like, it kind of depends. Like, does the, sh does the um, lowering enemies ice... Was is the ice shred stronger than the thousand attack that Shugaku gives, you know? You, know, you need to do some calculation. I also think because there's double ice shred with the two characters... Um, I think it's one case of, like, um, uh, it doesn't stack as well. Th there is an amount of, like, reduced value over time, right? There's, like, a, uh, there's a sweet spot, and if you go above it, there's a diminishing return. You know what I mean? New agents, so that's why I think we need some calculations there. Boo and Night boo. Two new bang oh, they're adding two new bang boos! Bang boo. Oh, Baddy Boo is joining. That's so cool. Baddy Boo was, uh, um, it's the it's the one with all the bandages that looks like a punk that you could see in Jane's story. That was is so cool. Does that mean that like Baddy Boo is gonna be? I assume Night Boo is gonna be the 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 hands one. So maybe Baddy Boo is just gonna be an A rank. Baddy Boo and Night Boo. Two new Bang Boo. Any chance they'll help get our Mahjong game going? We're still short two players, you know. Hmm. 
I, don't I like Mahjong. So. It's really fun, actually. <clears throat> I haven't played Let's forever. Track. After the 1.3 update. Yep, there it is. Baddie Boo is A rank. Oh, wait! Night Boo is also A rank. Oh, I mean, that would make sense if they wait until Miyabi is out before they release the S rank um, uh, uh, Section 6 Bang Boo. Proxies can signal search in the Bang Boo channel to get the A rank Bang Boo Baddie Boo. Look at him, he's so cute! Get Night Boo as a okay, why does Night Boo. <laughs> why does he have tights on? <laughs> why is he wearing tights? Ward from the event. <laughs> The mystery of our Peggio fault. Just so you know, the only way to obtain yeah, yeah. Boo as of wait, now wait, will wait, be wait. from that event. Wait, 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 wait! Only way. Oh, so that's FOMO team. Don't forget to play the event so you can get uh, Night Boo. Okay, unless he becomes available. I mean, with games like um, HSR, HSR has uh, added a way to get the previous light cones from the events. Maybe we'll get something similar in the future, but for now, make sure you do the event so you get Night Boo. Uh, the same way, I think there was another Bang Boo that you could unlock from the event. I think it was... I think it was like one of the, the Denny's... Denny Boo, I think... I don't remember. As of now, we'll there was a bang boo you could get event. from an event before. Bang boo is an A rank bang boo who uses rockets and Molotov cocktails to deal. Oh, he's so cute, the team. A rank bang boo who uses rock. Oh, he does a rocket jump. Look, he jumps and now, shoots the floor with the rocket it. launcher to jump super bang high. Boo is an A rank bang boo who uses. Oh my god, that yo, that 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 bang boo has played Team Fortress too. <laughs> Rockets and Molotov cocktails to deal fire damage with his active skill. <laughs> when teaming up with an agent and activating a chain attack, Batty Boo leaps forward and shoots a rocket, dealing fire damage in a large area. Ahead. Hell yeah. Take them all oh my way. god! Look at this! Nightfall summons a like a. Ahead. A unicorn toy thingy. Take them all out with and you can pick up the play. stars? Very nice. Now our other A rank bang boo, Nightbull, can summon stars onto the battlefield. <laughs> Collecting those stars restores energy for agents. When next to the chain attack, Nightbull summons three rainbow ponies. The ponies trample enemies ahead, dealing. That's not a pony, damage. that's a fucking unicorn. With these new agents and bang boo raring to go, let's talk about signal searching. Oh, I love this. In the first half of version 1.3, Proxies will have access to the exclusive. Ah, man, she's phase one. Ah, she's fa ah, I wish it was phase two. Channel, Moonlit Serenity and the W Engine channel, Dissonant Sonata. Okay. Where you can obtain the exclusive S rank agent, Tsukishiro Yanagi, and S rank W Engine, Time Weaver. In the latter half, the exclusive channel, Champion of Embers, and the W Engine channel, Dissonant Sonata. We'll be offering exclusive S rank agent lighter and the S rank W engine blazing laurel. As for the 1.3 check in events, each proxy can All get right. 10 encrypted 10 free master tapes and 10 boopons in total. Down. So don't forget to log in. Also, many of you probably know that you can obtain a dynamic background when reaching trust rank 4 with characters. Here are Yanagi and Lighter's dynamic backgrounds. Oh, they even preview them. That's cool. Ooh, those are nice. Better get those trust rates All right. Up. And don't forget the new Bang Boo. These new friends are itching to team up with you all. Maybe we can squeeze in a couple rounds of mod. Damn, lighter wa lighter's wad is actually pretty, <laughs> pretty nice. <laughs> Look at him raising you up with that with that that stare. Like he's he's undressing us mentally. Holy shit. Lighter, stop! Drop that topic <laughs> stop, Mr. Lighter, no! What topic should we talk about instead? Don't do that, you will. Maybe something that proxies really like. Redemption code? Yeah! Alright, let me see. I'll do it right now. Virtual revenge. Redeem. Alright, successfully redeemed. Pug. Moving on from the code.
Come on, hurry. 1.3 update. We'll be introducing some new events and game Ooh, modes too. New events and game mode. Hello. First of all, Miss Yanagi and Mr. Lighter stories are coming. Indeed, we saw the VHS earlier. In version 1.3, our new stories will be available through the themed event TV schedule. Oh, okay. This event has unique tokens, tokens? which proxies can earn from story broadcast <laughs> and warm-up exercises, <gasps> and then <gasps> exchange them for rewards. Wow! In Tsubishiro Yanagi's program in the TV schedule, Moonlight Traces, Proxies can check out Sugishiro to get essentially four stages. 400 polychromes. Lighter's TV schedule program, the champion, not only can you find Lighter's story and stages, you can also check out the special play in which players can use Lighter across a series of horizontal battle stages. Oh, that's so cool! Each stage will give Lighter a different buff. Of course, we can't... That, that's actually pretty long. cool. I like that. At the start of each stage, Proxies can designate an agent as a supporting character. Call them in at the right times to summon them and have them unleash their skills. Timing your support character right can lead to additional buffs. As for our combat lovers, we've added a new permanent gameplay mode. Permanent? Another trials. one? By fighting battle after exhilarating battle, proxies can steadily climb higher on the tower. Apart from Ooh, rewards, a tower will game mode, that's a cool. Upon reaching a certain floor. The higher you climb, the shinier your metal gets. Okay. But please keep this in mind. The higher you climb, the tougher your opponents. Yeah, of and course. your agents won't recover until you complete the entire phase. Like your HP for example. That's awesome. Agents Man, they're really the going all in with the game modes. The I feel time. like every single patch they when add a new permanent battle, game mode. That's crazy. Proxies can select a replacement from their reserves. As you keep going through the challenge, you will unlock more agents to choose from. Yep. And enemy abilities will get stronger in simulated battle trials, too. For example, when Genshin you who? One of I still like Genshin. Bosses, I'm sorry, guys. I like Genshin. Fights. I don't care. You gotta stay I know people like to shit on Genshin, but I like it. I'm tower. sorry. Go for it, proxies. In addition, we're adding a new roguelike gameplay mode in Hollow Zero called... The oh, this is how you get the Night Boo. Arpeggio Fault. This mode is split into five chapters. Each oh. chapter has multiple floors of randomly generated areas waiting to be explored. Okay, see, another roguelike, that's cool. Mode, proxies will encounter various events as they explore using the HDD. You can fight enemies by ramming their tiles and <laughs> defeat them by literally bumping into them <laughs> with sufficient combat power. <laughs> that's cool! Even... I, like, I know a lot of people don't like the TVs. Uh, but I think, I think this is a good way to go about it. I think using the TVs as a way to introduce some fun mini game is smart. And here you just have to think what, like, th this just looks like an indie, like, this looks like an indie, like, uh, like, roguelite RPG, you know what I mean? It's like, you get buff, you increase your HP, you have your strength, you ram into enemies. Like, you'll kill the enemy, but will deal his damage to you. I think this is a nice way Loose to go about it. Via board combat. It's really cool. Let's I like that. We're just very <laughs> amazed with our CZ is very responsive. Looks Fair enough. like even the store owners can't resist the proxy's sheer power. TV in Hollow Zero is fun too. Ah, it got all pretty also fast in my in opinion. Game mode, like, I liked it. Combat. Resilia but it HDD made it so TV slow, it was al always something I dreaded doing the entire week. And when you have to do it like Resilia. at least twice Following per week, I was just like not motivated. During exploration, proxies will gain EXP, which can be used to activate the blessing group chosen at the start to boost your exploration abilities. That looks cool! Once you've finished exploring a floor, you can move on to the next one for more resources. The resources you collect can be used to upgrade your skill tree while outside the game mode, giving you even more buffs for your next adventure. Even more? And the neat thing is, the buffs you get from the skill tree are completely up to you. So, proxies we'll get can a bunch of uh, their skills to Hell yeah. their style. Now that we've talked about the gameplay, let's discuss rewards. Yes, sir. There are both permanent and limited time rewards. Besides polychromes, proxies can also get the new Bang Boo, Night Boo. Yay! I won't delve into the details here. Let's leave it to our proxies to explore for themselves. Sounds great. Oh, 
And I heard that the HIA is hosting a new event too. There, proxies can engage in test battles with okay. different buffs for each stage. Notably, they're offering stages where you can test out the new agent Suki Shiro Oh, that's Yagi. cool. Utilizing specific buffs, proxies like, can I try think it's the stages Oh, that's a new monster. Look at agent. him. He looks awesome. I think this is great that they're actually doing events where you can like play the new characters. Because at the end of the day, when you do the trial character, um, like through the trial itself that you get from the banners or, you know, from the exercise mode, I think it's very limited. Here you'll you'll get to play around with the character and understand the mechanic way better, in my opinion. Uh, well, it's not that... Um, the other mode is good to, like, introduce the character, but I think playing around with the character is very different. It's really nice that they are giving you the opportunity to do so through events, in my opinion. So don't miss out if that sounds like something you're into. By the way, have you heard the buzz about wow. the of belief in New Eridu? They're gearing up to open a pop-up store at Another Lumia restaurant Pursu. event? Wow. Yes, sir. Perhaps we'll bump into some familiar faces. Not only Jouet! that, word has it that we some awesome help to host a special group of lucky customers. Hell yeah. Pull in a hand and you might score a spot as a VVVIP customer at the store. And then there might be more rewards with <gasps> too. More boupons. Little Bang Boo dreaming big dreams. Apart from this recruitment for catering services, a Bang Boo coach has thrown out an invite too. The Enna Assistant Program event is coming your way in version 1.3. During this event, proxies can visit different Bang Boo. Oh, look at that being so cute. <laughs> Take photos for the Bang Boo and assist the coach in checking on the results of their training. Those Who are you? can be a handful. If you want to check the results of your training, you gotta start by counting them. Don't let any distractions throw you off. Bangbu always appreciate a helping hand from All proxies. Right. So, besides the event rewards, you can also get some photo wall decorations in return. Oh, yay! More Bangbu decoration for the apartment. Handing out tasks too. Head over to the Help Kai event. Complete tasks. Nice mustache. Look at him. Thanks. What a chad. By the way, have you heard? Sun Z Studio is opening up in Luminous Square. Ooh. They're stocking up on all the latest gadgets. Swing by and check it out. Don't just yeah, we get a display if stand. That's cool. Like, Reminds me of Funkai kind of Back Third. Finds on your display stand on the second floor of the video store. Ah, uh, heck yeah. something nice. In That's cool. Addition, we will be getting double drops events. Hmm. Nice. For combat simulation and routine cleanup. So As you do. Foxies, get your farming hats on. We'll do. In version 1.3, we optimize the layout of the friends system. Wow, Expanding friends. The size of the name card and adding That's why I put them. If I had any. Foxies <laughs> will be able to get various Cyber titles Kathy, that's from for me. and from Agent Trust. You can only equip one title. Okay. And as for these badges, you can earn them from various game modes and have multiple on display All at right. once. Of course, if you'd rather not show off any titles or badges, that's totally fine. Yeah, too. you get you don't Just get to see them. Your title or you cr cre creepy your stalkers. Settings. With all those events, proxies will have their hands full for a while. I bet. But wait, there's more. <gasps> Daddy. I know you've got a whole list of optimizations too. Yay, let's go! <laughs> of course, of course. Is it time in that we can use any character in the overworld? The functionality, appearance, and gadgets for the compendium. For example, we've improved. Oh, our daily look! Oh, that's awesome. Uh, for for the the thing here, this is the one thing that you can like. You can um, every week, you can choose like two things that you want to do here. Uh, but here it seems they also some of the tasks they give you are literally just. Um, some of the, the quests you can do for the, the cat guy, right? The uh, Captain Mew Mew, Officer Mew Mew. Tasks are displayed under the errands tab. Now, even if your engagement is maxed out, you'll still see incomplete tasks marked out with the go to button for easy access. Ooh. We've also revamped the weekly tasks at the very left under the errands yep. tab. This update introduces a new interface and way to choose tasks. Yay! That's cool! Weekly. Weekly. This update will drop on November 11th, a week after the new version is released. That's 
awesome. Moreover, the challenge tab has been renamed to combat for better clarity. Mm, good. Under the combat tab, you'll find new ways to access standard game modes. Good like stuff. Like the investigator training course in version 1.2 and the new game modes that will be added in version 1.3. Bug. We've added a new tactics tab on the far right side Nani? of the medium. Proxies can use it to access combat tutorials. Yeah, absolutely. Sure not. This is... With the mechanics, meeting they, they're targets, really making the game like... Clear rewards. The, the Plus, QOL, the quality of life changes, and, and just like the new game two. mode, better ways to go about it, better way to complete a lot of side quests that you can easily miss. Yeah. It's so and good. Also, it's really, really good. The interfaces, layouts, Doors and the claiming of rewards for Notorious Hunt, Shiyu Defense, and Hollow Zero. We've also added a new related agent feature for Expert Challenge, Notorious Hunt, and Routine Cleanup. Where proxies can That's now nice. check agents who need the materials and disk drives from each stage. That's really, really nice. When it Dang! comes to building your agents, we've made a number of changes regarding materials, oh? drive disks, W engines, and more. For example, we're adding a quick craft slash dismantle function in version 1.3. Oh, hell ye! In the past, when you were short on materials, you could either craft with lower level mats, dismantle more advanced ones, or use comprehensive ones to fill in the gaps. However, only materials one level lower were considered before. With this update, the system That's now cool. checks for materials across levels. You can skip slogging through multiple interfaces, crafting level by Just level. Just more QL. And instead get everything you need on a single pop-up window. Provided you have enough necessary Pretty, pretty cool. Yep. So All right, more QL. On materials awesome. materials one level down, but have plenty of even lower level materials you can craft across levels with a single action. See, I told you, literally here, you see her, like, she has a katana, and she extended it into the nanigata. That's so cool. I love her weapon, dude. But while we've always been able to craft low-level materials into more advanced ones, then maybe we should let other items have a go, too. You bet. Finally! They made it! You can craft the master copies. You can... Uh, Crap them up or dismantle them. That is so cool. So you don't have to go through the trouble of having to freaking like use all of them all the time. Because like you would have to crap, you would have to use them to make some discs that you don't care about to dismantle to then use them again to dismantle. And that process was so annoying. <laughs> We're extending this handy feature to drive disk master copies as well. That is so cool. So, proxies will be able to craft more advanced... Looking a little dressed up since I last saw you. A model change? Discs. No, that's just one of the outfits. That really is handy. That's my suck up, oh, suck yeah. up BT. Hi. And that's not the Hi. Other. We've added a Meow, new oh, darling. to the drive disk menu. But, I can, I can also, also use that outfit like this. I can change into my normal too? outfit if I want. Exactly. And obviously, I still have my... Experience. We've made it so you can sort your drive You know, discs I can still be on my little, um, a breeze to filter discs you know, my little um, Plus, the old summer outfit. Has been replaced by quick select. Very Just cool. Select all the star items. Oh, hallelujah! 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 <laughs> Easier way to dismantle stuff. That's very cool. For dismantling drive discs and w engines. Man, the quality of life! They never stop coming! An icon that's awesome. For better clarity. I'm also getting a goth outfit next month, which I'm very excited really for. Amp up the whole experience. Also, in version 1.3, you can pin your favorite agents and bang boo. Oh, thank God. Your agents and bang boo for the agent. I know this is like, this is such a, a minor thing, but just being able to favorite some of your characters, it's so useful. Sometimes I'm annoyed I have to like slide down when I'm looking for a specific character. This is so nice. Um, I wish... No, I think we have it in the... I think they added that in uh, HSR, didn't they? I know it's been in Genshin in a weird way because you have to open a specific menu to activate it, but it does work. Menu, remodeling shop, Bangboo deployment interface. And Hell more. you! Now you can find your faves with you. Hi, Kate! And let's not forget about the tweaks in the drive disc selection screen over at the music store. 
Now you can view more sets at once. Moreover, we've added quick access from the drive disk recommendations Heck interface. Yeah! Overall, these touches are all about smoothing out the bumps in your experience. That is so good. Oh no. All that excitement drained my energy. Yeah, I feel you, Captain Meow. For a cat nap. Ah! Huh? Wait. Hey, hang on a little longer. Lady Meow. Lady Meow. No, it's cat nap time. Shut up. We're professional intel brokers. Even if we're nodding off, we'll stay hanging on. Well, that's a wrap for today. Hell, that was great. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time. Bye. That was actually fantastic. Um, we're getting a new story about uh, Section 6. Uh, we are getting two new characters, obviously, two new a rake bamboos, very cool new events, new permanent game modes, a crap ton of quality of lives. This is, this is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. That was great. I'm super, super, super looking forward to this. Good stuff. Good freaking stuff. Let me know what you guys think in the comment down below. Let me know what you got you most excited about. Um, personally, I think I will end up pulling for Yanagi. I hope she's phase one, so hopefully I can pull for her early and then start saving for Miyabi. Uh, but yeah, super, super cool. Looking forward to it. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. You can catch me live on twitch.tv forward slash Kathy. We're live right now. Everybody here is super handsome. I'm here almost every day. And I'll see you soon. All right, cheers, guys. Talk to you next time. Bye!